Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron, and for today's video we're headed to the world of Activision, Blizzard, maybe put in a little bit of Microsoft in there, but more specifically Diablo 4 and their planned release date. Now, this will be a short video before we go any further, this is all hypothetical. This is all insider sources, so none of this has been substantiated but the people that are leaking are normally fairly accurate. So could be right, could be all BS. We will find out, but it is really interesting. We are on the website Insider Gaming. Diablo 4 is to launch in April 2023, it's claimed. And I would be shocked if this actually happens. I was thinking June, July, maybe an open beta and then an actual full release later on. But April is what we are finding out. Xbox era's Nick Baker and Windows Central Jez Corden have claimed that Diablo 4 is set to release in April 2023. According to both Baker and Corden's inside sources, the game is set to be revealed at the Game Awards in December 2022. So I was like, okay, when is actually the Game Awards? Because I forgot about this. The Game Awards, December 8th, Microsoft Theater, Los Angeles. Oh, well, okay. So far, that all checks out. All right. Rumors appearing over the summer revealed that Diablo 4 would be announced at the Game Awards, originally leaked via Classic WoW subreddit, which I looked at that, but we're not going to look at that right now because it's a little older. Both Xbox Era and Windows Central report that Blizzard is planning a sizable marketing blitz for Diablo 4, with its marketing starting at the Game Awards. In addition, Windows Central reports that pre-orders would open at the event which could include various digital editions and premium physical collector's editions with various goodies for hardcore fans, which has already been kind of told as well. That as far as pre-orders go, there's going to be multiple levels for the pre-order, and on top of that, multiple levels for how soon you can get access to the game. So, spend the most money, you can play at the earliest, and you get all the different goodies. And that topic came up because it was like, well, does that make the game pay to win? Because you get a head start over everyone else. Anyways, that's not what this video is all about, but that has already been kind of substantiated. Earlier this year, Blizzard announced that the title will be a live service title with regular seasons, a cosmetic shop, and a battle pass support. Diablo 4 seasons will be modeled after those of Diablo 3. With new seasons begin, all the characters from the prior season would be moved to the Eternal Realm. Uh, where you can keep playing, leveling up, and collecting loot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It continued to play in the new season. Uh, to play in the new season, you'll create a new... Yeah, we all know about seasons. Okay, we don't need to read anything else. Now, that is the leak. But the story has been updated. Okay? All right, insider sources are telling us this. This is what we know. This is what we've kind of found out so far. And it's coming from two people, right? Maybe they're just, you know, trying to get some publicity. I don't know because now I'm making this video, but this now happened. I think it was yesterday. Yeah, this was yesterday. Update in an undirect tweet. The president of Activision Blizzard, Mike Yabara, has tweeted, don't believe everything you read. Ooh, ah. Now, obviously, it's. we don't even know what this tweet is for. But it did make it into this article, so you can put two and two together. Maybe this thing is all BS. I have no idea. Told you it was a short video. Are you looking forward to D4? Do you hope that this April news is correct? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What I'm going to do to take out this video is I'm actually going to just play the gameplay trailer for Diablo 4. Maybe it's been a while. Maybe you forgot if you even want to play this so you can see some of that gameplay. Two asks at the end of this video. Ask number one, I'm hoping today's the day I have earned your subscription. Hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it. It really does help the channel for 2022. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 50 members that have signed up. Become an instant ARPG VIP and get Patreon exclusive content at the first link in the description. 
weekly podcast, weekly blog posts, access to the VIP lounge. So you could chit chat with me every day, special title for the discord, and you can win custom merch every single month for being a Patreon. Again, first link in the description. That's all I've got. April release D4. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Aaron out. Diablo 4 is the next generation of action RPG, melding monster slaying and loot collecting with a fully realized open world. It's not for the faint of heart. It's gory and unnerving. It's creepy. Diablo 4 is all about player choice. It takes all of the pillars of a Diablo game and just expands them with all of the new features that people really love and appreciate in modern games. Whoever you see yourself being, you can create in Diablo 4. It's important to include robust character customization because then I can play the fantasy that I want to play. It allows you to switch around your playstyle as well. Everything feels very powerful and fun. One of the really cool things about having an open world is your journey that you take throughout Diablo 4 is your own. There's no linear path that you have to follow. We've got almost 150 dungeons in the game. There's all kinds of surprises as you're exploring. Strongholds are an enemy territory that you need to reclaim. You might have a space that begins as a hostile area, but after you've cleared it out... The evil in this place has been cleansed. It now becomes a friendly town. Sometimes it's a new town, sometimes it's a new dungeon. There's a whole bunch of rewards that you get and you have a real impact on the world as a result. No, you can't leave us here. They might come back any moment. Local events are really cool little story segments that happen within the open world. You'll just be running through the world and then a local event will pop up and you can choose to participate in it or get a group together and just wail on these like giant world bosses. These are events that take a lot of people and you really have to work together. Being able to see all the players on your screen collaborating, trying to take this big monster down, it's, it's epic. It's so easy to create a community. It makes Diablo more of a social experience. We've got fully enabled crossplay. If you have an Xbox and your buddy has a PC, you're gonna be able to group up. Or you could play couch co-op. Two people on a couch can sit there and have a great experience. We've created specific zones where players can engage in PvP. If you go there, you can start swinging away at people. But you're also opening yourself up to being swung at. If you're like really, really good, the game actually marks you as like a champion on the map. You basically become a loot pinata and everyone wants to chase you down. The last story mission is really the beginning of a whole different part of the journey. Now you're set up for the end game and that end game is rich with things to do that allow you to get more and more powerful whether it's new items or new dungeons or new Paragon boards. Every single time you come back to play Diablo 4, there's going to be new stuff for you to experience. And it's something that we're going to support for years to come. I'm really excited for folks to get their hands on Diablo 4. Just to see millions of people really enjoying the different options. Through the campaign. Local events. Couch co-op. Endgame. PvP. It almost doesn't end. And we are so...